All of this mayhem in Europe has put the Indo-Pacific on the back burner. Nobody is talking about the South China Sea or the PLA's piracy in the Pacific. Over the next two days, that could change because the Quad foreign ministers are meeting in Australia. Two things will dominate this meeting. Number one, the deliverables. We've seen enough symbolism from the quadrilateral. It's time to see some concrete results. And number two, the standoff in Ukraine. Pacific or not, I'm afraid Russia is going to be on that table. Reports say the US will raise this issue in Melbourne. But the question is, will it make it to the joint statement? Will Ukraine make it to the joint statement? In the past, the Quad has talked about Afghanistan, about Myanmar, also about North Korea. Will Ukraine be next? That is the question. The Americans would definitely want to make it a part of the joint statement, but India is going to be wary of this. At the United Nations, New Delhi had refused to pick a side, remember. The priority for India would be to keep it that way. NATO for Europe, Quad for the Indo-Pacific. It will be hard for the Americans to merge the two. Plus, the Quad meddling in Ukraine could push China closer to Russia. So far, Beijing's support has been limited to words. America would be wise to keep it that way. Having said that, you can understand their desperation. For all the talk and bravado coming from Washington, D.C., America is not really in control of Europe. Emmanuel Macron is leading the diplomatic response. Germany is refusing to leverage Nord Stream 2. Some countries in Eastern Europe are rethinking U.S. military support. Meanwhile, Joe Biden is largely missing. He's like those mythical mob bosses, you could say. He's supposed to be the big player in town, but no one's actually seen him. This crisis is a do-or-die moment for America. If Europe can broker peace by itself, it could be a pivot. The likes of Emmanuel Macron are already talking about European autonomy, basically a Europe that leads and not follows the U.S. And if that happens, American influence in Europe could wane further. And that's why the Quad is so important. America can bring something Europe geographically cannot. The Indo-Pacific. Both Australia and Japan have offered gas shipments to Europe. If Russia cuts off supply, they could be an alternative source, and that's very important. Plus, Japan's parliament has passed a new resolution. It condemns any attempt to change Ukraine's status quo by force. Basically, it's anti-Russia. But every U.S. partner needs to think about this pattern. America loves using allies. But what are the allies getting in return? Ukraine is basically on its own now. Afghanistan was on its own. So this question is going to dominate any court discussion on Russia. What are the allies getting? And this is likely to be a warm-up act. The main event is still the Quad. Like I said, it's time we start seeing dividends. In 2017, the Quad foreign secretaries met. In 2019, the Quad foreign ministers met. And in 2021, the heads of government met. The trajectory is good. The announcements have been great. But now it's time for the results. Like vaccines, for instance. Last year, the Quad leaders pledged 1.2 billion doses. What happened to that? How much of that has been delivered? Or 5G networks. The Quad promised a safe alternative to Chinese 5G. What's the progress on that? They will have to talk about all of this. Or the supply chains and the infrastructure projects. All of this was announced after the in-person summit last year. This meeting is all about reviewing the progress and setting new targets for the Quad. India's Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar will land in Melbourne on the 10th of February. He will attend the Quad Summit on the 11th and then he'll fly to Manila on the, on the 13th. The meeting in Australia is also going to set the stage for the second Quad Summit in May, which will be held in Japan. And President Joe Biden has already accepted the invite. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.